All right, so here we're solving um, an equation with three unknowns, and we're going to be using substitution to do this. Um, the reason that we're going to use substitution, we don't use this a whole lot for um, three equations, three unknowns, but we will use it today because we have these holes, two holes, um, which basically is that we've lined up our x's, our y's, and our z's, and when we do that, we have two empty spots. So that's kind of a good strategy or a good way of the problem letting us know, hey, you might consider using substitution here. So what we're going to do is essentially we're going to put everything in terms, uh, well, not even really everything. Um, say we've got problem um, number one, equation number two, and equation number three. Um, so probably the best way to say this is that we're going to... Um, solve 2 and 3, um, well, I guess more specifically, we're going to solve 2 um, for x, and that's going to be in terms of y. We're going to solve number 3 for z, that's going to be in terms of y, and then we're going to write or I guess substitute would be the best word, we're going to substitute those into 1. And basically what that's going to happen is now, now it'll all be in terms of y. And, um, and then we'll kind of go from there. So I think, yeah. So um, if we take a look at number two, we have x minus 3y equals zero. So I want to get x on one side, so I'll add 3y to both sides, and I've got x equals 3y. Okay, now for number three, I've got minus y plus z equals negative 55. This is slightly different than the problem we did in class because I had written this down incorrectly, but it's correct now. So I'm going to solve for z. So I'm going to add y to both sides, and that's going to end up with z equals y minus 55. So now I'm going to go back to 1, which is 4 minus, or uh, x minus 4y minus 5z is equal to 35. Now I'm going to substitute. Let's substitute. So <laughs> I do do that. So instead of x, I'm going to put 3y. So here for x, I'll put 3y. I'll leave 4y alone. And then minus 5. And instead of z, I'm going to put what I know is e to be. <laughs> Why'd you do that? It's silly. Um, so I'm going to put what I know is e to be. So that's y minus 55. My voice is going again. So I've got that equal to 30. Uh, so we'll scroll down here a little bit. So what I've got is 3y minus 4y minus 5y plus, now I'm going to distribute this, remember, so I have a minus 5y times a minus 55. So I can go over here, make sure I've got it, 27, okay. So plus 275 is equal to 35. Now I'll combine like terms, so I have 3 minus 4 minus 5, which is going to give me minus 6y plus 275 equals 35. So I'll subtract 275 from both sides. So I've got 275 minus 35 is something like that. So making sure I do the signs right, I've got 6y equals negative 240. 6y equals negative 2 fourths. Now, I divide both sides by negative 6, and I get y equals uh, 40. y equals 40. So, I'm like practically done. Not really, but I'm kind of closer to done than I was before. But the nice thing is, is if you remember what we had up here, we had x in terms of y, and we had z in terms of y. So we actually kind of are basically done. 
So I'm going to take this right here. This x equals 3y. Right, okay, so I got x equals 3y. And I happen to know what y is. y is 40. Right, so 3 times 40 is 120. So I got that one. x is 120. And finally, I can use this blue one to say, okay, so I've got, hey, so I've got z is equal to y minus 55. And I know that y is 40. So I do uh, minus 55. So 40 minus 55 gives me negative 15, just like that. So since I have, remember I had x equals 120, I have y equals 40, and I have z equals negative 15. So now I can write my order triple, 120, 40, and negative 15, and we're all done.